Welcome back, guys, to this old house. Today, we have officially removed one of the uh, adobe walls. For the most part, there's still a little bit down there still that I have not removed, but I'm going to leave it there for the time being. Well, I'm going to go down and make, maybe take another layer off, and uh, for the time being, probably leave the rest there. Or maybe I'll take it all out, and then I'll just cover it up with some plywood to keep from other crap, dirt, and other building material from falling down into it so I don't have to shovel it all out of there. So let me go ahead and turn the camera around and show you uh, what we've done so far at this old house. Alrighty, if you remember, that wall being there, it is officially gone. Totally gone. See that? I've got a little bit of more debris here to gather up. I'm going to probably try getting that gathered up here. Get it all loaded up into one load and maybe I can take that and haul it to the dump. Really didn't want to take this to the dump, but I don't have a place to put it. And I'm not going to store it back there in my dirt pile. Because all this is, this is adobe brick, which is basically the dirt from outside. And this right here, these ones here that are in here sideways right here, I'm going to see if I can take and break them in half and leave the other half inside the wall on the way up, all the way. If I can break them in half, because then I can come in and do the same thing on this side here. And break those off. These ones here are a lot more softer than these ones here. So these ones here will break off just no problem at all. So my plan is come in here, break those off, frame up this here. I'll take and frame all this up because I've got to run a beam from right here all the way across here. This here will be all gone. So I'll be running a beam all the way across here. And I'm gonna be redoing this right here. This wall here. So this adobe wall here will also be coming out also. So let me open up the uh, basement hall, basement door here. So all this will be coming out. So I'm basically gonna tear this wall out also on top of it, tear it out build a new wall here along with a new wall to support that beam over there. So all this adobe is what my plan is, is to take and get rid of it all. This wall right over here in the living room, plan is to take that all out too. I believe this isn't a load bearing wall, but I'm not 110% for sure yet. If it is, no big deal. We'll go ahead and put up a temp wall to take the support, take the load, take the weight, and we'll build a support, a temp wall to hold the ceiling up. But we're going to try to do that wall over there after we get this wall here built and that wall right there taken down so then we don't have a lot of load bearing walls if they are i know this wall here is this wall here is a load bearing wall how do you know look see that beam right there see that that is how you know it's a load bearing wall I'm also gonna see if I can take and maybe fish plate these and anchor it to these other floor, uh, other joists here to the other ceiling right there. That is the plan of doing that. So that is a load bearing wall. I figured it was. And uh, we'll put a beam in right here. And then so when I do that, we'll build this wall here up. That will bring it up. We'll frame this wall here up, that will bring it up, and then we'll be able to sheetrock to that. So 
with that being two by six or whatever, it won't be much on that. So that is what we're gonna do. And that also, we're gonna end up pounding that ceiling in. We're gonna knock it in. I'm, I'm not gonna play around and take and scrape all that plaster off. I'm gonna just climb up there and just kick it in. So that's what we've done here at this old house. So it's coming along surely, but slowly. A little out of time. But anyways, thanks for watching and like they say, if the women don't find you handsome, they ought to at least find you handy. You guys have a good day and we'll chit-chat at you later.